Hello guys, how are you? This is the build of a uh, 1 150 uh, Black Pearl from Revel, uh, Pirate of the Caribbean uh, kit. This is only a kit with 112 parts as you can see and it's a snap type kit. Uh, it's kind of like a Gundam kit. I only wanted this uh, just for fun. Uh, this one is embedded on uh, All at Sea uh, group build led by Ian, UK scale modeler if you want. Uh, can go check his, uh, his site, his YouTube channel. It's a great channel. And it was a fun build. It was just a, a simple build. I needed something to uh, ease my mind after the Portuguese caravel. And why not trying to do a small diorama with it? Um, it was a simple build, as I told you. Not uh, too much glue or practically none. And it was built very, very fast. The kit is very detailed for its scale and for the type of kit it is. Um, the, the pieces are pre-painted, but of course I primed and painted and weathered the pieces also and covered all the gaps. I mean, some of the gaps, because on this kit you have to compromise that you will have some uh, pieces, uh, some small gaps due to the intricacies of the kit. However, uh, I enjoyed this one very much. As you can see, the pieces are very, very well detailed and they just snap fit perfectly. Perfectly, guys. It is a hell of a fun. Um, very, very, very well detailed kit, as I told you. And I had a lot of fun on this one. We start by um, cutting the pieces of the sprue, obviously. I cannot emphasize enough the importance that you on this one and on every kit that you do but on this one especially clean thoroughly the excess styrene because it's a snap fit kit and each particle of plastic that it's on excess it will mess up with your snap tight uh, junctions and uh, the kit itself okay The parts are pre-painted, um, however, I will prime the kit as I told you and paint it all. You can on this one paint like it, it was a Gundam. You can choose to paint it on the sprue or after it's painted. I choose to paint it by hand um, after it's uh, fitted because First of all, I wanted to see if there was any gaps, any significant gaps. And sometimes you paint first and then when you fit, you discover that you need a bit of glue and that bit of glue may cause a mess when uh, putting the part on the main kit. So I paint it afterwards.
guys, until now, I found this kit a very simple one, just a few gaps to, to, to fill. It is a snap fit kit, however with great, great detail for a kit as simple as this one, as this scale. Uh, with a bit of work, you can put this on a very high level of detail. As you can see, I'm spinning it now, very, very good. Uh, the size it's considerable for the scale and if you work a bit on it even with the sails you, as you can see here it is very good you can even have the detail on the deck on the planking and look at it it's very cool very 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 cool it's a great kit with great detail Fits like a glove, it's fantastic. Let's prime this one, start painting it and weathering it. Um, it's pre-painted parts, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, that's part of uh, the objective of this kit. It was a relaxing build, just a snap fit build. For some of you it's not a real kit, I don't care. I love it very much, I like it very much. Well detailed, now it's time for painting it. And now let's start in painting all the golden, uh, golden uh, detail on this kit on the bow. Um, as I told you before, gold is better seen if you first give it a, a coat of brown. Okay, so because this was uh, uh, real intentions and very well detailed, I first gave it a light. Uh, dry brush brown dry brush on the detail okay let it dry a bit as you know it's acrylic it dries fast and then and always after this I gave it another dry brush this time gold um, I use Vallejo gold and Tamiya gold because they are two kinds of different uh, paints um, and you know you cannot have enough gold <laughs> so um, and I'll, only after I painted the, the, the brown and the gold, I gave it between the middle, in the middle, to cover all that uh, light brownish uh, part that went off the indentations, I painted in black. Well, as you can see, this way, you have a better way to paint all these small intricacies, intricacies and the paint goes better. We sometimes take some time to go with the brush on the detail and sometimes some paint goes out and it's, it's a bummer. Well, if you do a dry brush and then you go on the black and uh, correct that small paint that went off the detail I believe it's a better way to paint all these details imagine for instance the Soleil Royale where on the vow has a lot of detail if you paint it this way it will be much 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 better and all these boats all these ships it's a ship because a ship can go in a boat and a, but a boat can go inside a ship right <laughs> all these ships that I build um, are kind of a practice
for when I do a more complex one or even a wood one. And now, uh, just because this ship is black, um, I used several types of black uh, on the deck and some on uh, the wood frame, let's say. Um, however, in order to pop up some details, I gave it a dry brush of uh, light grey. Uh, not white, because that would be too intense. Uh, light grey and then a bit of sea grey to balance a bit the contrast on the details so what you are seeing here is me giving it a dry brush of light grey and sea grey um, and with the detail on the ship made the ship more uh, texturized more intense less of a toy now a light grey oil. Why? Well, the Black Pearl is a black ship, sails in the seas of course, and all the salt, uh, as you see in, in, in the movies and all wood ships, even the metal ones nowadays, they are all corroded and white-ish by the salt of the sea, which is very aggressive to the hull. So that would enrich a bit more, uh, give it a bit more of chromatic richness um, on the hull, on the ship, and well, it's fun. Now, just because I was having fun, a bit of a VK naval wash, this time the salt, uh, I wanted to uh, compare the oil and this one. It was almost, almost the same, but even so, gave it a bit of tonality and uh, it looked very well.
and still with a bit of work to go on the ship let's start on the diorama let's use a bit of the, that blue foam and let's see how this goes Very important, this watercolor paper soaked, soaked in water. After letting the watercolor paper to dry and to settle on um, the, the blue foam, we are going to put some um, balsa wood on the sides of this square of this diorama just to give it a bit of texture and then we will paint it in black okay just for the base and the balsa to look like they are one single piece This part here is a bit optional and I explain why. I am making painting the wake of the ship. 
However, more ahead, I will use tissue paper, toilet paper, uh, soaked in Vallejo still water to give it that wave of uh, the waves, let's say, and at the same time to seal the gap between the hull and the, the, the foam. So, I know that the paper soaked still has a bit of transparency, however, it you will not be able to see um, that much what I'm doing here. However, one effect complements and gives some uh, finishes with the other. And now let's use some Vallejo still water. All the tissue paper, toilet paper, tissue paper, whatever that you are going to see here used to uh, seal the gap and at the same time to give it that illusion of the water waving across the hull of the ship is made with that paper soaked in Vallejo water. Now, using what's left on the cup of the pale grey-blue from uh, two minutes ago, we will use some German grey or dark grey if you prefer and uh, with a bit of a thinner and uh, airbrush flow improver, I always use it, it's great. And let's dilute it in the cup and mix all the paints together. With this color, try to follow the top of the waves that you carved on the blue foam, okay? Use this color to just highlight that little top of the waves that you can see beneath the watercolor paper and the Vallejo still water applied. of dark sea gray to the base color and the mix of German gray and pale gray blue on the same cup we are adding a bit of On this diorama, uh, what I really wanted and when I started, I remembered those Errol Flynn uh, black and white movies, those uh, pirate movies that he had where he sticks his sword on the sail and downs and goes down, uh, those fantastic 1950s um, and 60s movies, pirate movies and we're all black and white. and because of the Black Pearl being a pirate ship and being black, I remembered why not take advantage of that and do a bit of monochromatic tones, you know, just with a bit of color here and there, like the gold or the brown, and like that, trying to take an advantage and start doing a monochromatic uh, kit and diorama.
This diorama water texture by Vallejo is a white paste that when it dries, dries completely transparent, thus giving the waves, the diorama, uh, the, the appearance of that small wave on top of the big wave, you know? C is never flat. Here I am starting on rigging this boat. Uh, I saw some pictures, tried to be as accurate as possible at this scale is difficult because uh, to be accurate you really had to give the correct knots and on certain parts I just glued the wire. Um, however I tried to follow uh, the correct rules from up to down and inward to outward, from inside to outside on the rigging and uh, try to be uh, the better I, I could on this uh, job. However, it is hard to work with the camera up front on this. Um, to make it worse, the thread is very thin and my eyes are not the best right now and with the magnifying glasses I couldn't see. So. These are on, only some examples of rigging.
and after one final coat of Vallejo steel water just to enhance a bit the wet effect of the water uh, I consider this one done it was a lot of fun uh, I would like to say to this one this build is embedded on Ian UK scale modelers group build all at sea I hope you guys enjoy this if you, you are watching this for the first time well subscribe if you want you are more than welcome click on that notification bell if you want to also guys I hope you enjoyed this one I had a ball on this one okay keep modeling keep modeling and always always with a smile cheers <laughs>